Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, I am Dave Hayes. Uh, we are going to review Dirty Unicorns today. Uh, this is Dirty Unicorns 7.1.1. Uh, it is the latest release, uh, the December release. Uh, they just actually released it a couple weeks ago. Um, I've been running it for about a week. Uh, this is pretty much uh, how I plan on doing my reviews. Uh, I want to try to run the ROM for as long as I can. Uh, that way, if I find any issues with it, again, I can bring it to you uh, so you guys uh, know what to expect if you flash it. Uh, one of the only issues I've noticed so far with this ROM uh, is if you guys are on multi-ROM, uh, whenever you flash it to your secondary, if you use a custom kernel, uh, you're not going to be able to access your SD card. Or not your SD card, but your internal storage. So I suggest if you're going to go to your secondary, uh, use the... Um, use the supplied kernel. Blood, blood kernel is an awesome kernel. Uh, it's just that it doesn't support multi-ROM. At least not yet, not in, in uh, Nougat that I found. Um, besides that, I'm also testing Singularity kernel, uh, or I'm sorry, Flash kernel. Uh, Flash kernel is working really, really well. Uh, I found no issues at all with it. Um, a lot of options on this kernel I like. Uh, so uh, I just figured I would uh, let you guys see that. Uh, give it a shot. Um, it, you're, you're probably not going to be disappointed with it. Um, I am running Enforcing, uh, but it does still allow me to use uh, the themes on Substratum. I know early on Substratum was uh, to the point where if you didn't have a permissive kernel, uh, you couldn't actually use the theme. Uh, but it's, uh, it's working very well for me. Uh, as a matter of fact, the theme that I'm running right now, uh, if we go underneath or under theme, uh, you guys will see it's Substratum. Uh, the theme that I'm running right now is called Vibrance. Uh, Vibrance is one of those uh, CMTE look-alike themes. Uh, it actually got its start from CMTE. That's how I recognize it. Uh, I run it um, uh, on my CM-based ROMs. Or, well, actually on anything that has a theme, uh, the CM uh, theme engine. And I love it. It's one of those ROMs or them themes that I just love. Uh, just like uh, Neon Colors. Again, it's one of those themes I really love. Uh, they look like the CMTE themes, uh, and they work great. Um, we're going to go ahead and get into the dirty tweaks right now, because I know that that's what you guys are, are waiting for. Uh, underneath system, we have expanded desktop. Uh, basically, guys, all this is is the apps that you're running. Um, it, you, you can pick and choose what you want to actually show expanded when you turn them on. Uh, under miscellaneous tweaks, it's going to bring up your flashlight notification, toast, uh, icon, uh, your scrolling cache, uh, media, you know, all that. Uh, and then, of course, you have your screenshot type. Uh, you can pick whether you want a full screen or you can, you know, uh, take a section of the screen. Uh, I think it's kind of cool. I still like to go full screen because I can always, um, I can always uh, crop it myself. So uh, I'd rather just be safe, take the whole screen, crop out what I don't want, uh, and send it that way. Uh, next up is going to be the power menu. Uh, they do have uh, quite a few options to choose from. Uh, you guys know me. I use my power menu like I use my quick settings or like anybody else would, uh, their quick settings. I, I completely, totally navigate my phone almost using my power menu. I like it. Uh, the more features, the better for me, the happier I am. Um, under lock screen, the only setting they have for that is the lock screen torch. If you guys want to run it, there it is. Um, under the status bar, first up is going to be the battery. Uh, you can pick and choose your icon, which are your basic icons. Uh, there is nothing special. It's just standard icons. Um, I would love to see the 3-Minute Battery Mod uh, incorporated in here, um, but uh, for those of you guys that don't know, the 3-Minute Mod is not working on Android 7.1.1, uh, and they're having all kinds of problems with it. I don't know if they're going to be able to get it to work. Um, I, there are a lot of strong minds working on it right now. Uh, hopefully, they will get it uh, up and running. Jeez, man, so many notifications. Um, uh, I do want to, let me see if I can find uh, heads up. I want to get rid of that right now. If this does have heads, I don't think it has heads up. Uh, anyways, uh, next up is going to be the carrier label. Um, oops, I don't want to go with that. I want to go, yeah, I did. Sorry about that. Uh, you guys can pick and choose the uh, carrier label you want. Uh, if, you, if you guys actually even want to have any, uh, you know, you can, uh, you can run lock screen, lock screen only, status bar, both of them. Uh, type in what you want, um, or just go with your carrier label. Uh, notifications. Uh, these are your notification controls. Uh, I'd love to see heads up. I don't see heads up here. Uh, clock and date. 
uh, you guys want to set up your clock, you know, right, left, center, no clock at all, uh, seconds, uh, AM, of course, I don't think they have, yeah, they do have seconds, uh, AM, PM, um, I'd love to see color on this, but I know Dirty Unicorn uh, never did back in Marshmallow, and I don't think there are any ROMs out right now that are allowing you to color uh, the clock. Uh, under Quick Settings, this is going to be where you set up your drop down uh, like that. Um, you have your brightness slider uh, showing, your brightness icon showing, uh, your quick setting pull down uh, for your right, left, or, uh, or always. Uh, you can actually turn that off if you want. Um, uh, quick settings tiles, uh, let me see here. Yeah, I know they're visible. Uh, you have your music tile track if you want to show that, uh, title track, uh, vibrate on touch if you want that, uh, and then of course your advanced data tiles. Uh, under, underneath that, I know you guys can't read it very well. Uh, it's the theme. It does have a couple issues. It is very new, uh, and hopefully they'll get this little bug uh, fixed where you can't actually read the header. Uh, but under the uh, settings, you can pick your, col your, uh, your columns and your rows uh, for both landscape and uh, portrait. Uh, I do highly recommend you don't go any more than five on your rows uh, in your portrait mode because you're going to lose anything uh, over five. You're just going to completely lose them. Even if you swipe to the right, you're going to lose them. Uh, tiles animation, uh, I have mine set to rotate right now, uh, and I have my uh, animation on fast, uh, and then your interpolar, uh, I have it set linear, you guys can play with it, uh, do it whatever you want, uh, or none at all. I mean, you don't have to run with any animations if you so choose to do that. Uh, status bar items, basically, is where you're going to pick and choose what you want to show in your status bar. Right now, I do have the Dirty Unicorns logo showing, uh, I don't want that. 4G instead of LG or LTE, but you guys can if you want. Uh, Bluetooth battery status, which is nice, very nice feature to have. Uh, let you know what the uh, battery level is on the Bluetooth device that you are running. Uh, you do have data, Wi-Fi, activity, arrows, uh, and then of course you can pick and choose what icons down the bottom to actually show when running. Um, Next up is going to be your traffic indicators. This is where you can uh, turn on or off your data uh, coming in or out. Uh, or show just coming in or show just going out. Uh, this is going to be where you set that up at. Now if we swipe to the right, it's going to bring up the navigation features. Uh, first up is going to be your buttons. Uh, you can enable the nav bar. Um, nope, I missed the buttons. There we go. Uh, you do have your do not disturb button, uh, which I have turned on right now because I have my notifications turned completely off. Uh, so it's just turned on uh, by default. Uh, volume keys, you guys can set them up uh, how you want there uh, with the settings on this. Uh, then you have your playback control all the way at the bottom under your nav bar settings. Uh, this is going to be where you can pick between your uh, nav bar and your smart bar. Uh, if you go nav bar mode, uh, you have your smart bar and fling. Yeah, nav bar and smart bar, between uh, smart bar and fling. Um, right now I have a setup for fling. Uh, these are your uh, fling settings. Um, if you go into the uh, toggle button editor, this is going to be where you can set up uh, your recents button to do what you want. Um, if you want it to, uh, you, you long press it, brings up a window, click on actions. I'm going to go with a long press. Now I'm setting up the long press action on my recents button. I'm going to select a custom action. I'm going to go down until I see split screen and I'm going to enable split screen on long press on my recents. That's going to be multi window, uh, multi window use by long pressing the recents tab. Now if I long press it again, bring up actions. Uh, go to double tap, click on select custom action. I'm going to go to my uh, last app, if I can find it here, last app. Uh, and then what that'll do is by double tapping on my recents button, I can switch between two running apps that I'm using, which is very handy, especially if you're like trying to uh, get links uh, and post to, uh, say, YouTube. Uh, <laughs> it's very, very handy. Um, that's pretty much it. When you're done, you hit the X again. You can actually uh, click on save. Uh, you, can, uh, you can save a, uh, uh, a profile. I'm going to call this mine one. Uh, click OK. You can save many profiles. You can set this up you know, a whole bunch of different ways and click save and then you can switch between your profiles. Um, that's it for the uh, smart bar. Uh, if you go into the fling settings, uh, these are your fling settings. I'm going to scroll down through them slowly so you guys can see if they are. I don't play with fling. Uh, I'm, it's not to say that I don't play with it. I've tried it, uh, and I, I have actually set it up, but it's just, to me, easier is, uh, easier is better for me. Uh, I just like something that's very simple, 
Um, and uh, I like the way that, uh, you know, Android had it set up to begin with. Uh, although I do and have noticed uh, that the majority uh, of my uh, user or my uh, fan, or my subscribers out there um, do like the uh, fling settings. So uh, it, it's a good thing to have. Uh, and, you know, kudos to, uh, uh, to the DU team uh, for uh, developing this. Uh, it's awesome, uh, the uh, D, uh, DU navbar. Uh, I know it's one of the most uh, highly requested features uh, to be put in custom ROMs. So uh, good on them for that. Uh, then, of course, you have your pulse settings at the bottom. Um, these are your settings. Uh, right now, I have my uh, render mode set to uh, fading blocks. Uh, I have my color. That's going to give you the setting control in this section here uh, under bar width, you know, spacing, block size. Uh, if I would set the render mode to uh, the solid lines, uh, that, uh, which is normally how I run it, um, you can set your sanity, le sanity level and your lava lamp uh, by using that. And you have to, I think, pretty much enable lava lamp. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, okay. I just, I didn't see the color. Um, so that's pretty much it for the uh, nav bar. Uh, if we swipe to the right again, it's going to bring up multitasking. Uh, they do give you the omni switch uh, if you guys want to run it. Uh, I'll scroll down quickly and let you guys see what all the uh, features are, uh, settings, you know, stuff like that for uh, Omni. If you guys don't know what Omni is, it's basically a recent uh, style uh, that runs across your screen. Well, you, I think you can set it up in different ways, but it's it's reminiscence of KitKat's uh, uh, recents where you have a, a bunch of, just a bunch of apps and you can just pick between them, whether it's, uh, I think it just shows the icon of the app. Uh, but that's how you switch between that uh, and the recent bar that runs uh, horizontally across your screen. Uh, that's how you would enable that. Uh, then under recents, you have your immersive recents. I have mine running full screen, but you can go uh, default, uh, status bar, nav bar, or full screen. You guys can use uh, that however you like. Uh, and then they do have the uh, for use with recents uh, alternative, um, which is basically Omni. So what that does is if you turn that on, that'll turn... Uh, your uh, full screen recents completely off and just run Omni. Um, you'll do that with that switch right there. And guys, that is it for the custom uh, features uh, in the Dirty Tweaks. Uh, I already showed you the theme I'm running, um, which again uh, is called, <laughs> I forgot, all, Vibrance. It's called Vibrance, yeah. Uh, that's the theme I'm running. Um, and that, I'll tell you what, it's working very, very good. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pick... Uh, Another theme just to let you guys uh, see how it works and that it does work. Um, as soon as the cache initiates, I'm going to go ahead and pause this until the cache, uh, until it builds up its cache resource. All right, it's uh, went ahead and built up its cache resource and just went right into the theme. Uh, it's very simple to uh, enable. You just click on all of them um, and scroll down and make sure that if there's anything there that you don't want running, you just uncheck. Uh, I want everything running, so I'm going to go ahead. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, apply button, uh, build and enable. Um, long gone is the big circle with the uh, wavy water in it, which I think was cooler than this. I wish they'd bring that back, but uh, this is what we get. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause this uh, while that while this is being enabled. Okay, it's, uh, it's done doing its thing. Uh, and one thing I forgot to do was uh, disable my last theme, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, but actually, these two themes running together looks pretty damn nice. Um, if you look at my, my drop-down, uh, it's incorporated or included um, the icons from the earlier theme that I was running, Vibrance. Uh, and if I go into my settings, uh, you guys can see that I still have my... Uh, the icons from Vibrance, uh, but the coloration has more moved on to like uh, neon colors. So <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Um, so uh, that was kind of accidental there, but um, I do know for a fact, I do know that you guys can, you can mix up themes. Uh, they, you, you're not supposed to actually overlay uh, two theme settings uh, unless it's like a nav bar and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, you know, I do know that it does work on certain ones, certain themes. Um, I actually really, really like this a lot. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, and stay with that. But uh, I just wanted you guys to see that uh, the theming works on this. It works very, very well. 
Um, I've had no problems with it. Uh, my uh, my uh, internal storage I can actually access now that I'm running in my primary. Oh, sorry. Uh, so everything's working really good. Um, so guys, if you liked the video, uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, I do want to thank uh, all of my subscribers. Uh, you guys are pretty much the only reason why I'm still doing this. Uh, I don't like the direction that uh, that um, Google's headed. Uh, to be quite honest with you, uh, I was act I was thinking about uh, giving up ROM reviews. Uh, you know, starting in 2017, uh, just because pretty much all the all the ROMs that are out just look identical. It's very very hard to distinguish them f apart from each other. Uh, that's why I was hoping that Cyanogen Mod uh, would have gotten fixed. Uh, I think that would have helped out a little bit, but it's not even their fault. It's Google and the direction that Google is headed. I think that Nougat is going to be the last uh, Android release that we are going to be able to customize. I really do. Um, it's getting harder and harder to root. It's getting harder to unlock bootloaders. And when Google is putting out a, a phone that you, uh, that you can't unlock the bootloader or are having problems unlocking bootloaders, that's not good. So... Uh, unless they come up with some kind of different operating system, <laughs> hint, hint to you developers out there, that'd be awesome. Um, this is what we're stuck with. So, anyways, guys, again, uh, I want to thank all of my subscribers. Uh, if, if you stayed with me long enough to the end here, uh, again, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Uh, and I will see you on the next one.